Hey Java Nights, it's Coffee Time. Today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional double macchiato. All you need, some good milk, although organic milk or milk from grass-fed cows is not super important, just like using good water, the flavors in this milk will, of course, show up in your glass. So the tastier the milk, the better your macchiato. For those vegans, we also have almond milk. Almond milk or oat milk do foam the best. Some good coffee, ground to espresso ground. Here I'll be using some organic French roast. Any intense dark roast will actually work here in place of an espresso roast. Intense dark include French, Sumatran, or Italian. A frothing cup for your milk, a tablespoon or a teaspoon, and a demitas cup. Of course, none of this is possible without your choice espresso machine. I'll be using my 10-year-old Mr. Coffee. It's also a good idea to have two shot glasses handy though you don't absolutely need it. A Demitasse cup is between four and five ounces, so filling it to about right there, almost halfway, will give you your two shots of espresso. I always like to start with a clean workstation. The Mr. Coffee comes with two filter baskets, one for a single shot and one for a double shot. We'll be pulling two shots, so we'll use the double shot. Start by filling your filter basket. Level it off and tamp to approximately 30 foot-pounds. And tap. Grab your port filter and place your filter basket inside and lock it in place. Next, place your Demitasse cup or your two shot glasses underneath the port filter and pull two shots of espresso. When you've reached approximately two shots, shut it off. Remove the port filter and clean your filter basket. Grab your frothing cup and add just a little bit of milk. And that's actually enough right there. Next, you want to froth your milk. Make sure to start your frother with the milk outside of it first. Midstream, add your milk. Your tablespoon can be used to actually tap this in order to break the bigger bubbles. What you're looking for is a silky smooth froth. Tap your frothing cup against your paper towel to knock out any more of those big bubbles. Then spoon two or three dollops of this foam into your macchiato. What you don't want, and what you should have left behind, is the liquid milk. Now espresso macchiato literally means stained espresso. So you pulled your espresso and you stained it with your froth. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are sure to benefit. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know how you like to take your morning drinks.